Welcome to class, another episode of Ask the Teacher with Teacher Teresa Simon. Once again today we are coming to you from the studios of Mamlaka TV and that is why we have someone who can ask the questions on your behalf. What is today's question? How many types of families do we have? How many types of families do we have? How many types of families do we have? Hmm, interesting. I want to assume that by types, this question is how many kinds of arrangements qualify to be called a family? Going by definitions from the question we asked on families, then when we say that a family is a unit or a group of people brought together by marriage, blood, or adoption, then, therefore, we can ask ourselves how many such arrangements, how many arrangements constitute a family? I would say, number one, we have what I would call the ideal family, the one that lands after the script of God. And that family is father, mother, children, together, living together, lovingly, under one roof. And that is what might be called the ideal family. For those of us who are in our 50s and our 60s, that is what we knew as a standard family. But then things have changed. And a lot of other dynamics have been introduced. We have a type of family called the blended family. The blended family is where one or two of the parents come with children from other relationships. And so they come here together and they are living in that family, a blended family. There is another arrangement, what we call the single parent family, where one parent, either by default or by design, is taking care of the children alone. So at a basic level, that is what kind of, we also have now another kind of family where the children are alone. The orphans are also a family where the parents are gone, but the children are living together, ready for themselves and taking care of themselves. So those among many other arrangements, can qualify for a family. So we can say this, that basically a family in, when we are talking types, what would make a family qualify is that these people are related, either by blood, by marriage, or adoption. So if they have been born together and the parents are not there, then they are family. If they have been brought into a relationship and they do not, they were not born there, but they have been co-opted into this family as adopted children, then they are family. If these two families have come together, this father came with children, this mother came with children, and they are together, then that's a family. We also have now what we are called step families, where one, one spouse did not come with children, and uh, then these children came with other, this other spouse, and then they, 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 they might call it a step family, uh, and such other arrangement. But the qualification is that these people are intertwined, interconnected, by one of the three things, marriage, blood, or adoption. That's what the teacher has to say.